Hello everyone, this is my final week here in Ghana, in Africa. Excuse me for a sec while I just push through the forest. Yeah, as I was saying, I've got another week left here in Ghana. I'm planning on going back to the capital, Accra, for about two days maybe, because we have a friend there. Well, that's the general plan anyway. Right now, I'm just going for a quick walk whilst there's a little bit of daylight left. My brother's sitting, just reading and chilling out. We've both not been feeling very well. He's had the flu, and I've had a bit of a poorly stomach. Two nights ago, I was, I was sick. I was actually sick. I don't know what brought it on then, but I still haven't quite recovered from it. My stomach's still very sensitive. My appetite is at an all-time low, which if you know me very well, I eat a lot of food and I've barely eaten any food today or yesterday, so obviously it's still affecting me one way or another. At that moment, I'm just going for a little quick walk, a little quick explore, a little quick wonder whilst the sun is still up, because before I know it, the sun's going to go down completely. So, yeah, having an, an explore. Yeah, my experience here in Ghana has been absolutely wonderful. There's been times where I've been having so much fun. There's been times where I think, oh, I miss home, I miss organised civilizations. But coming here, this is absolutely fantastic. Just seeing life almost from a different point of view, a, a, a different civilised... Oh. Yeah, flip flops on the best thing to wear. But yeah, a different civilization, a different. It's just a different world, different culture, it's different everything. And you sort of know these cultures exist, but you don't really realize it properly until you actually go there. So it's actually quite fantastic. How everything different here. I think I'm definitely in somebody's fields. I'm just randomly going along a pathway. Just following this random pathway. I'm not really sure where it goes, but oh well. I have a feeling many ants in this lie here. Yeah, so then if I disturb it, I'll probably get a load of ants flooding and attacking me, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's a random knife in the tree. I'm not really sure if I'll get told off for being on here, but it's definitely a farmer's land. There's obviously aren't here at the moment, or not in this particular spot. It's like a bamboo here. All these bamboo trees. I've never seen anything like that in England, so it's like, wow, bamboo. This is the best sunset I've seen in Ghana. So I'm just gonna sit and watch it go down. That was nice watching that. That was the best sunset I've ever seen here. That really was. I'm gonna start going back now before the mosquitoes come out. They're probably out now, so. Wow, watching that sunset. It's the best sunset I've ever seen here. Like, here you just don't see good sunsets. And I hope what you've just seen is good. I couldn't quite get a good zoom on it and get a good angle because it was just going down, so I had to lean it on my slipper, uh, my flip-flops and some rocks. Hopefully it was good. I didn't have a tripod. I just had a very, very, very small amount of time and, <laughs> and what I had, so. It's such a great sunset and I was just sitting there watching it as the camera was recording it. I mean, the whole recording's about seven minutes long, but obviously, as you just saw, it's been sped up. Well, now, I am going to speed it up, but you've seen it just been sped up, if that makes sense. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunset. It makes me feel very, it's made me feel very peaceful, a lot more peaceful when 
when I did when I first started walking. When I first started walking, I just wanted to spend the last few moments of the sun just outside. I thought, why not? It gives me something to do. But after seeing that, it's, like, ah, it's better. It's better. It's good. Yeah, so I'm back at the orphanage now, it's getting really dark and I feel really tired now. Since I've been ill, my energy level's been really low, so yeah, now I'm just really tired. I'm just gonna try and get an early night if possible. So anyway. <coughs> hey, why are you barking? Why are you bark? Why are you bark, doggy? Why are you bark, doggy? Hello there. Na 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 She's sleeping. These are coming out. These are falling out quite easily. I'm getting rid of them now. I thought they'd last a bit longer. I thought they'd last until the UK. But coming out, I'm getting rid of them. I'm gonna get rid of them all now. And I still have plaits in my hair as well, which I really didn't like to begin with. So I'm gonna sort those out as well. I can probably do those. Oh, come on. Come on. So I'm only taking my hair band out. Gosh, here it goes. Gosh, look at my hair, it's curly and completely mad. I'm gonna really have to sort my hair out after this. It's completely, completely mental. <laughs> I think I'm done now. I think I've got every single plait out of my hair. Oh my gosh, that took a while. I've been here for about an hour and a half doing this. Uh, not the most masculine moment, but whatever. The only thing I have remaining is this dread. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to brush this out. I might keep, I'll probably keep it for now, so. Doing photos. Show us your fashion. Show us your swagger. Oh, see, this, these photos are good. Well, this photo, it almost looks like that we've just hunted this dog and we're posing by its body. Like, you get all these photos everywhere, like, like on like a Cecil the Lion situation, and it just looks like we've just killed this dog and we're posing by it. Oh, it's oh, brilliant. <laughs> Why are you 